polymelia. Polymelia is a rare genetic mutation that causes a person to be born with more than the usual limbs, even though in most cases, the extra ones are deformed, shrunk, or completely useless. However, this wasn't the case for Deepak Paswan in India. He was born with four completely functional arms and four completely functional legs, which caused pilgrims to come to him from all over India and worship him, as Hindu religions often depict deities as having multiple limbs. Eventually, though, scientists figured out that the extra limbs came from a parasitic twin that hadn't developed in the the womb and somehow fused with him. The extra limbs also weren't fully controlled by him as they randomly moved, so they just decided to remove them, enabling him to live a normal life. Myostatin-related muscle hypertrophy. This disease gives super strength, as affected people have over twice the usual muscle mass of the average human. It's caused by a mutation of the MSTN gene, which is usually responsible for limiting muscle growth, but in this disease, it doesn't properly work. A famous example of this disease is Liam Hookstra, who's been jacked since he was a kid and could do a pull-up at eight months old, had a six-pack at three years old, and could lift three kilogram dumbbells with his arm fully extended at just three years old. It's one of the only diseases on this list with no known medical complication hyperthymestic syndrome. This disease enables people to remember huge amounts of relatively random information, basically giving them super memory. However, there's a catch. They can't choose what they remember, so they might remember what they ate on a random day, but they might forget what they studied for their next exam. Matter of fact, some say that hyperthymestic individuals appear to have poorer than average memory when they actually actively try to remember something. They describe their memories as uncontrollable associations. For example, when they see a date, they see a vivid depiction of that day in their heads without hesitation or conscious effort. Unfortunately, this disease can make it difficult to sustain long-term relationships and can cause loneliness. People with hyperthymesia also have difficulties letting go of difficult events or traumatic memories, which can stay with them for life. Fortunately, though, it is extraordinarily rare, with fewer than 100 people in the world having been diagnosed with it. Stone Man Syndrome also known as fibrodysplasia ossificans progressiva, this disease allows people to regenerate damaged body parts with bones instead of the original damaged part. For example, if a person with this disease injured his biceps instead of new muscle tissue, he would grow bone tissue. It is the only known medical condition where one organ system changes into another, and it ultimately leaves sufferers immobilized as new bone replaces musculature and fuses with the existing skeleton, which is why it's called stone man syndrome. Unfortunately, this disease is almost always deadly. The superficial bone Bones aren't even removable, as if they're cut more will appear when it regenerates. Savant syndrome. This disorder, which is sometimes paired with autism and Asperger's, makes the patient extremely talented at a variety of tasks, such as calculations, drawing, painting, cartography, and much more. As an example of how incredible this might get, Stephen Wiltshire, a man who was diagnosed with Savant Syndrome, was able to draw a precise map of London after flying over it just once. However, people with Savant Syndrome are usually really good at one specific task, but lack social skills. Congenital insensitivity to pain. An estimated one in every 25,000 people suffers from this genetic condition, which completely shuts off the pain signaling pathways as patients have a mutation of this gene, which is supposed to develop pain-sensing nerve cells. People with it usually can't know or understand what pain feels like or really is, even though they can feel emotional pain or touch. Even though this might seem amazing, it's important to note that pain is one of the most important survival tools, and people with this condition usually die in their childhood as they injure themselves without knowing it. For some reason, there's a village in Sweden called called Vitangi, which has an out-of-the-order amount of people suffering from this disease. Tetrachromacy. If you tried to imagine a new color, you wouldn't be able to, your brain would just glitch. People with tetrachromacy, however, don't have to imagine new colors because they actually see them. Humans' eyes have three types of cone cells, which enable us to see a part of the light spectrum, while some other animals, especially birds, fishes, and reptiles, have four. This means that the organism may see wavelengths beyond those of a typical human's vision, and may be able to distinguish between colors that, to a normal human, appear to be identical. In humans, tetrachromacy is extremely rare, to the point that some don't even believe it exists. But there was one account where a woman was found to have an additional cone type, which was a sort of intermediate between M and L. Trichodento osseous syndrome. This disease, which affects only a couple thousand people worldwide, basically gives people indestructible and super dense bones, so much so that they've reportedly been able to break baseball bats and withstand car crashes. This happens because they have a mutation in the DLX3 gene, which works on bone density. However, there are some bad drawbacks, such as having teeth that break painfully and easily, having brittle nails, and having dry, curly, and flaky hair. As a fun fact, it's being studied as a potential cure for osteoporosis, which affects the elderly by increasing their chances of breaking their bones, sometimes causing death. Hyperlexia. 
If a kid between the age of two and four years old is able to read everything perfectly, and he's obsessed by numbers or letters, he might have hyperlexia, which is a syndrome characterized by a child's precocious ability to read. The problem with this, however, is that it's basically fake reading, as they're able to say out loud the words on a piece of paper, but they're unable to understand what they're reading. The cause is still unknown, but it's thought that it has a certain overlap with autism, with some claiming that about 84% of hyperlexic kids suffer from autism as well. Vampire Syndrome also known as hypohydrotic ectodermal dysplasia, it gives affected people pointed teeth and pale skin, and they're usually very thin, with eyes outlined with dark circles and with no hair. While looking like a vampire might sound cool to some, people with this disease have to constantly check their temperature and stay away from the sun, as they don't have sweat glands that can keep their internal temperature stable when it gets hotter. As an example, famous actor Michael Berryman has this disorder. If you want to discuss this video or suggest an idea for the next one, join my Discord. Link in the description.